So my kid asked me to, uh, we got, you know, wanted to learn karate, want to go to one of those karate schools. You know, I went to one as a kid, you get the white belt, the green, all that, that stuff. It's, it's good. They, they make a big deal that it's about, you know, it's self-discipline. It's not about fighting. Are you kidding me? I want my kid coming out of there like Neo from the Matrix, you know, stopping, uh, you know, bullets in midair and round kicking and people. If I'm going to pay the money, I want to see some action. Self-defense, if, you know, self-defense. I mean, I would just uh, give the kid a baseball bat to carry around. But karate is like an art form, right? Isn't it an art? Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. Today, I'm going to show you how you can deploy fonts for your system or office or all that stuff uh, through Intune. Well, yeah, my wife said I'm not allowed to talk to kids about karate or uh, the karate school, the regular school. I'm basically not allowed to talk is is what I've gathered from this. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so one thing you might be saying to yourself is, you know, I'm managing devices in Intune and, and, I'm, and I'm pushing apps and policies. What do I do about custom fonts, right? So that's what we're going to look at today. So I have a font that I like, the Source Sans 3. It's an open source uh, Google font that I think is pretty cool. So let's first get the font. Okay, and I'm going to download it. And we have our zip file. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And let's see exactly what we got. All right, so those are all our, got a lot of fonts here. So the way we're gonna do this through Intune is we're gonna make a package, right? Uh, and we're gonna make it into an Intune win and deploy it right to the machine. So let's go ahead and make a new folder and we'll call this the font app. So we're gonna have a few things in here. We're gonna have an install script install.ps1 and then I'm going to have an actual repository for the fonts and what I'm going to do there is copy over from my downloads all the fonts I want so I want the TTFs those are the extensions for fonts and I want everything inside here too it's got a lot of fonts here okay look at all those fonts all right, and you can you can do this with anything as long as you're putting it in that fonts directory. You can just you know throw fonts in there. So you know go nuts with it. All right, so now that I have my fonts, I'm going to go back to the root, the font app folder, and I am going to edit the install.ps1 with VS Code. Okay, so what I did is I created a PowerShell script, and this is going to be available on the GitHub. Essentially what it's doing is it is getting all of those fonts. I'm getting all the fonts from that subfolder, right? We're going to go through, we're getting the reg path where all the fonts have to ultimately go and just iterating through each one and verifying that if it is a font and it has the TTF extension, we're going to go through and we are going to copy it over to the C windows fonts directory and set the correct registry. Have. Okay, so now that we have this script, before we package it in Intune, let's verify that it works locally. So we're going to run uh, the command from psexec to simulate Intune because we're running in system context. So I am going to do cd the users steve desktop font app. And we're going to do PowerShell exe again, same thing as if we were running this in Intune. We want to test the command execution policy bypass install. And look at that. So now if we go back to the registry, uh, I probably need to refresh. You refresh. Look at all that. There they are. Source sans, black, bold, bold italic, all that stuff. And because I wrote the logs that way, we are going to say C program data, Microsoft Intune management extension logs. And now we have the transcript. So if we want to troubleshoot that, troubleshoot that, that will come over in Intune. So let's go ahead and package this guy up. 
and upload it. Uh, actually, I didn't think we will need a detection rule. So why don't we use the, we can use the log file as a detection rule, actually. Uh, font install.log. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Okay, so close that, close that. Let's throw our winamp util here, run it as administrator. PS1. Now we have an Intune win. All right, let's head over to Intune and we'll go apps, Windows, add. Any day now. There we go. We're going to go Windows app Win32, select, select app package file is going to be desktop, font app, install. All right, so we're going to say all my apps description all of the source sans three fonts did i say apps above i did it should be install my fonts publisher font man whatever i don't really care all right so we know the install command is powershell execution execution policy bypass install.ps1 we don't need an uninstall command set your requirements to 64 bit whatever you want and our detection rule is going to be a file and it's going to be c program data microsoft intune management extension logs and it'll be font install.log. Is that what I put? Let's reference that. Font install.log. Yep. So we're checking if the log is there, the app is there. Um, we could change that to actually look, make a script to look for the fonts that they installed. So it might be something you want to do. I'm just doing this for the purposes of showing you. Um, and that's it. And you can decide to assign this to all devices. I'll make mine available for uh, all the users. And now we have a package that'll deploy your fonts. There's so many of these nuanced things that come up whenever we talk about Intune deployment, uh, printers, map drives, even things like fonts. And, you know, these things we don't talk about often. They're not as cool as like autopilot provisioning and automation and stuff. But you know what? You might be in a situation. In fact, I just saw on Discord, someone brought it up. So you got to install fonts, right? And there's other ways to do it. If you use different package managers, right? Just grabbing the fonts and throwing them in the file directory. But you know me, I always like to take you through the actual way to do it. And, uh, you know, hopefully we learn something throughout that. So let me know what questions you have. Hop in the Discord. Remember, the members uh, section is now live. If you want to join, there's already, uh, I think, two videos in there. Or one video, I forget. Um... And if you already joined, thank you very much for joining. So we'll be seeing you.